Hey guys, it's Sandy. So I wanted to get on here and just talk for a few minutes about what I see going on and what I think you need to do about it. But first, I have two things that I want to tell you real quickly. First of all, um, anybody know about Ice Age Farmer? He had a YouTube channel. He hasn't been on there for a long time. I assume he's gotten censored because censorship is crazy right now. And um, anyway, if you know a different platform that I can find Ice Age Farmer on, will you write it in the comments so that I can follow him? He's, his, his information is just so good. So that was one. Second thing, and then I'm gonna get to the meat and potatoes, why I'm on here. But the second thing is, whenever I start, I always say, hey guys, it's Sandy. So everybody knows I say that. Um, that's what I've done, even when I was making Facebook videos, just teaching people things. So it's just what I do. Somebody wrote to me and said, instead of saying hey guys you need to say hello because that is more inclusive so let me just tell you that um first of all hey guys is for everybody it is not just singling out men or guys it's not the way it is it's for everyone everybody's included in that and i'm not going to be a part of this woke society where somebody gets their feelings hurt because i say hey guys so if uh, you know if me saying that to you hurts your feelings or offends you then this is not the channel for you so all right i just want to get those two things out of the way i'm still going to be me and you're going to hear me say the same thing because i'm not changing who i am so now what i'm even on here for everybody has seen what's going on if you haven't then you don't want to see but we all know that what's going on between china and taiwan and pelosi going over to taiwan well um and you guys have all heard about this so i'm not telling you the news what i'm telling you is something different what i just want to say is um with what they said with what china said china said that they are well I, they had threats they threatened if pelosi went to taiwan well she did go to taiwan i have some mixed feelings about that because i'm kind of like um first of all china i think that they will I don't, well, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to follow through on their threats. What I do wonder about China is they are a very proud country. And um, I don't know if they will just, for their dignity, if they will do something, if they'll just let this go by the wayside. I don't think they will, but I don't know um, if they will or not. So I don't know if China will follow through on any of their threats, um, but I... And, and then on the flip side of that, I said I have kind of a conflicting feelings on that because on the flip side of that also is we're America. And since when does a country tell America what to do? So it's kind of the same thing. China's kind of like, I'm telling you no when you're doing it. And America's saying, you're not telling me what to do. Um, so, hey, I just wanted to insert this real quick. I know that that sounded just a little bit cocky. That's not the way that I mean it after I listened to it before I posted it. But what I mean more is America has never let another nation tell them what to do. Um, but also another conflicting uh, feeling that I have it is I don't like putting our military in harm's way to prove a point. And I feel like both nations are who's going to prove the point of being right. So um, that's just what I wanted to say about that. Anyway. Let me just tell you, my opinions don't matter whatsoever because what matters is just what happens next. Will something happen? I don't know. But are you going to wait to find out? And what I mean by that is with China threatening and if they do someone or something, um, we already know that the price is okay. So listen, on this channel, you know that I have talked about food many times because I really think it is a very important warning for you to get food in your home. You've heard me say this, prices are going up, they're gonna to continue to go up, food shortages are coming. I firmly believe that they are coming. I don't know when, but I do believe they're coming. I'm listening to the farmers. People are sending me messages. I'm reading them, I hear you. Things are getting bad for some farmers, really bad, and the droughts are terrible. I believe we're gonna have shortages, I do. And I had some dreams, and I believe they were warnings. They were food shortage dreams. So I believe that we will, I don't know when, but I'm saying you need to stock up on food. Um, but what my other thought is, with this whole thing going on between China and Taiwan and USA, we get a lot of products here in America from China and Taiwan also. 
but we get a lot of products from China. What if China hurts us in that way and we don't get all the products that we use? What if they try to hurt us as far as, um, you know, putting embargoes on us or uh, they can do anything. So I'm not just talking about shooting our planes out of the sky or um, flexing our muscles and shooting a rocket. I don't know about that stuff, which would hurt us also, but it would really hurt us as far as if they tried to hurt us with products and not sending products to us. Do you know how many prescription medicines come from China? Like all of them. So we could be in a real hurt over in America. And why I am telling you this is I've already said a hundred times, go get food, don't wait, go get some stuff in your house. But what about we're going into fall and winter here. Now I'm in Ohio, so we are gonna have the dog days of summer still hitting us for a little while, but then it will get cold. So if you're in an area, you might need to be preparing by getting stuff now. So going to your local hardware stores or your um, places where you need to stock up on things. Maybe you need to buy some extra clothes and shoes and um, blankets and stuff to keep warm or the, that kind of stuff is what I'm talking about. So what we've always known is you prepare for the bad times when it's good. Always, it, it, hey, it's good right now. It is good. We have plenty of stuff on the shelves in America. Yes, prices are going up, but it's still good. What if it gets bad? Don't wait for things to get bad. I don't know what's gonna come from this conflict. It might be nothing, but it might be something. We don't wanna to wait to see what that something is because whenever China does decide, no, I shouldn't say whenever. If China does decide, they could really try to hurt America as much as they can. And we don't wanna wait around and see what it is. So do what you can now, prepare your homes. Um, if you have any comments about this, I love to read the comments. I learn a lot from you guys. And if you know anything about Ice Age Farmer, let me know. And if I offend you um, with my hey guys, then don't watch me. <laughs> no, really, actually, I really appreciate everyone. <laughs> so, all right, that's all I have. Until next time, I'm out.